Hello everyone, Larry Satchwell here. It's been a while since I made a bird feeder. And I love making bird feeders. Today, I'm going to take this simple dollar store strainer and try to make it into a platform bird feeder. I'll start by taking off the tag. That, of course, goes to recycling. I've got a coat hanger here, some florist wire, and I want to take this off of here. Normally they came off, come off pretty easily, but not this one. This is a kind of hanger you hang pants on. I'm a little bit stubborn, and I'm a little bit weakened. I have a sinus infection I've been fighting for several days. Bit. I like these because it's already got the hook in it that I need. The stringer comes with a little thing right there. I'm not making this look very easy, am I? There we go. Get a hold of it with my pliers. There, I'm going to clip these closed. That's what I was going for. So that's the first part. I want this to set level. I've got a piece of uh, cord here. It doesn't have to be this heavy duty, I don't believe. But I'm gonna tie it up here. Got the old Boy Scout right over left, left over right, square knot. And then I can bring this end through the handle. Looks like that's where it wants to be. So I'll cut that off. I'll tie just a half hitch in it right now so I can make some adjustments. I like that. And that's it, it's just that simple. And we could call this done. I know it looks weird. But that's all we're gonna do, basically. I think I'll add some disguise to it. I'm gonna take a little bit of this wire. This may or may not be florist wire, I'm not sure. I've just had it around here for a long time. And I'm just gonna snip a little piece off. And I'm going to weave it up through here. And twist it a couple times so it'll stay. Now I've got some grapevine here. And this ought to be fun. Looks like I need to snip it off too. Uh, let's take a smaller piece right here. I like this piece. I'm going to tuck this right here. And I'm simply going to sew this on here. Now it might be easier. I don't know. I haven't tried it, but it may be easier. To do all of this before you put the coat hanger on, but I really don't think it's going to make much of a difference. I'm 
Now this is going to take a few minutes, so I'm going to put the video in fast forward mode. Well, that looks a little more organic. I'm going to use this primarily for just black sunflower seeds, maybe a few raw peanuts. And I'm going to try it with some live mealworms. I don't have any frozen mealworms or freeze-dried real mealworms right now. And uh, at that ultimate suet. Let's go hang it up and see if the birds approve. Hold it. All right, I'll pick you up and you can put it in the bird feeder, okay? All right, let's... Can you put it in this bird feeder? Perfect. You are so good. Thank you. I've been watching this for about 20, 30 minutes now. But they like it, but I've not found some brown paint and I think I'm just gonna, it's a little bit shiny, I think. So I'm gonna try to dull up some of that shininess. Get rid of some of the string. I don't know that this is necessary. The chickadees and the and the tit mice certainly like it. Had a lot of cardinals around, but they mainly feed on the ground. After the paint dries, I'm going to add this little cake of that ultimate suet I made in the muffin pin, and see how they react to it. Well, I should leave this in here a lot longer, but I've got track practice. I have a few live mealworms, not very many, because I've been feeding them to that robin that hangs around here. So I'm not sure if anything will be able to even see it. But I'm going to give this a shot and see if they like that. And I'll transfer this up to the upside down feeder because it's empty.
Well, the worms are crawling out. I don't know if anything came. I just got ready for track and left my camera running. So I'll check that video. And I think I like this. Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching.